For those of you who don't know the YC deal, it's a standard deal that every company who goes through the program has to accept. And it is essentially that you give away 7% of equity in your company to YC and you get, the current amount is you get um, 500,000 or half a million dollars. There is a little asterisk there because technically like the 7% you're giving is only for 125,000 and then the additional 375,000 is under slightly different terms. But those are kind of details you can read all about it if you're curious on the YC website. Giving away 7% of your company for what is in the startup world, you know, not comparatively a lot of money is a huge deal. You're giving away a giant chunk of your company and usually you would get a lot more money in exchange for that amount of equity. Um, so this is why people always ask, is it worth it? Is it worth giving up so much of your company? What are you actually getting in value in return? And once again, my answer is it's a resounding yes. Like it is so, so, so worth it. Um, so let me now get into some of the reasons of why I think it is incredibly worth it. Bookface. Um, I had no idea what Bookface was before joining YC. Bookface, it is a play on words on Facebook and it is YC's internal forum, social network. Uh, you're basically Bible to all things startup. And what I'll say is if all you got um, in exchange for the 7% was access to Bookface, that like might almost be worth it. That is how good Bookface is. It is basically a social network of the top founders in the world. What I think are the top two most valuable things about Bookface is kind of this um, knowledge store and then the forum. So this knowledge store is kind of your Bible of all things early stage startup. It's written by the YC partners or you know the appropriate staff like the legal team. And it is just kind of everything you might need um, as an early stage founder, uh, everything you're trying to figure out how to do, just written very kind of matter of fact, factly. And it is like just probably the ground truth of how you should do all these things. So um, setting up as a company, kind of getting incorporated, goal setting, um, how to, if you're asking someone for an intro via email, here's how you should write those emails, um, growth and sales, Ooh, founder psychology. Um, and then there's stuff post batch. There's um, how to hire a series A manual, um, how to do startup press and PR. So that is just an unbelievably helpful resource. And then the second thing is the forum. So this is like, think of, you know, social network like Reddit, um, but it's only for YC folks. People are making daily posts. They're asking each other questions and then you might get answers from the founders of uh, Stripe or Airbnb or Zapier. So people are posting things like how not to mess up your tech crunch release. Uh, here is the memo that I used to raise my series D and here's the things I learned. Here are the critical lessons that I learned selling my business for half a billion dollars. Um, here's how to send 2000 emails a day. Here's how to do mixture of agents. Uh, here's how not to do rags. So it's just all sorts of these topics. And then there's also just people asking very tactical, like startup questions and getting advice from other founders. And unlike the internet, um, when you trying to find an answer to a basic startup question, um, and you get your, you know, um, what are they called? Uh, living room quarterbacks, whatever the phrase is. Um, these people who have never started a lemonade stand in their entire life, like giving uh, very opinionated takes on startup stuff. Um, no, here on Bookface, first of all, not, nothing is anonymous. So you know exactly who everyone is. Um, uh, what companies they've started, and everyone is a vetted YC founder. So Bookface is amazing, huge, huge, incredible resource that like I think a lot of people just aren't aware of, you get access to when you're part of YC. And Bookface is very secretive. When you uh, join YC, basically the first thing they make you sign is I will not give my Bookface credentials to anyone 
I will not share information that is on Book Race with anyone. Um, it's kind of like the, fir the very first thing you have to accept and like sign your life away. And if you violate those terms, like you may just get kicked out of YC permanently. The second thing um, is that YC is actually on your side. And this might sound trite, but I literally felt it kind of from day one. They want you to be successful. If you're successful, they're successful. Incentives are very aligned. And I think partially it is because of this YC standard deal. They're not gonna, you know, like lead your A or lead future rounds. And so basically their only incentive is helping you make your company as successful as it can be. And it might seem like, isn't that always the case with investors? Kind of yes, kind of no. There are other dynamics with investors of they might potentially lead future rounds. There's this power dynamic and managing up. Um, there also is a thing that, you know, for investors, they have their own kind of career progressions and ladders. And so you looking good as a portfolio company of theirs is not always the same thing as you actually kind of building a successful startup. And so they'll pressure you to hire, um, to think about raising money before you necessarily have to. All these things that kind of successful startups do these things, but they'll pressure you to do them before you necessarily need them. With YC, it just feels very, very different where, um, again, I think it's an, a combination of an incentives plus just the culture of the program, plus the fact that all the partners are former founders. It just felt like from day one, they were actually on my side. The other benefit of YC compared to other VCs is they just see and their sample size is huge. And so they see every single possible situation um, that a startup has possibly gone through before in way higher volumes than VCs because VCs do way fewer deals. And so, you know, if you're having co-founder breakup issues, like it feels like your life is ending, but YC has seen this so many times and can give you the exact playbook on how to think about it or fundraising or um, thinking about a particular enterprise deal like they have just been there and done that so so many times and i actually feel like in the future i can go to them and they will have my best interests and help me make the best decision possible for us i mean i'm so grateful to yc because uh jared got us unstuck out of pivot hell like before yc even started and so and i don't know that we would have gotten unstuck on our own like it's impossible to know the counterfactual um but for us that was huge i do think yc tries very hard to make sure that when you leave the program you're at least running down the correct road for you Leverage over investors. YC gives you so much leverage over investors. And as I mentioned, we'd actually already raised before starting YC. So this didn't apply that much. We just raised this tiny little angel around. But every single startup investor, you know, knows that YC, um, you know, spits out amazing startups. And so they definitely want access to those startups and they definitely don't want to be on YC's bad side because if they get on YC's bad side, then they will no longer be invited to uh, YC Demo Day and have access to those startups in the same way. And so it just feels so different, like fundraising and going into those conversations, uh, knowing that kind of YC has your back and they do have your back and they do make calls when investor is kind of like, act shittily, um, like egregious, like shit, shitty things. And it just feels so different versus you as kind of a solo founder, kind of going up against the investors of the world. Um, the other thing is part of Bookface, there is an investor review. And so basically every single VC that you can imagine has a page, like a profile on Bookface where founders rate them and write just like very honest reviews about them. And so you can go through and there's investors with A ratings and investors with like C ratings and investor with like, if you must only. <laughs> just an additional form of leverage. And it's like, 
you get to go fundraise um, with this community like that has your back. And the dynamics, I think, really, really shift. Also, if you are raising kind of your full seed round, as most companies going through IC are, being a part of YC usually gives you more money, better valuations than not being part of YC. Okay, the final thing of why I think YC is so worth it, and I wasn't really expecting this as a benefit, is they will help you have your breakout moment and they will amplify you. You still need to do the hard work, but they will amplify that work that you're doing um, with their social media reach. And so what does this mean? I started YC with maybe like a thousand or so Twitter followers, and I ended YC with over 6,000 Twitter followers. Infinity had like, I don't know, like 20 Twitter followers, maybe 50, um, and then ended with over 2,000. And so, like it's hard, like it's hard to build up Twitter followers. It's hard to build up a brand. Again, Twitter was the right platform for us. Um, for my batchmates that were doing B2B stuff, they were on LinkedIn, similar thing there with kind of building up a presence. We went viral so many times during YC. And frankly, this is like because of YC, like this would not have happened with it without YC. Um, so a couple things like on the baseline, I would always I uh, post on Twitter uh, about YC events, photos, my key learnings, and then, you know, YC's official account would retweet or Gary Tan, the president of YC, he would retweet. That would gain a massive amount of followers. The other big breakout moment was when we were featured on the Light Cone podcast. This was an invitation from Jared, our YC partner. We gained a massive amount of followers and went viral there. And then YC Demo Day, um, it was my clone that presented instead of me. And then as soon as our pitch was over, uh, Jared tweeted about it and that went massively viral. Um, and so all of these things, and then we went viral with the All In podcast, and it was all of these things building up off of each other, but none of it would have happened um, without YC. And basically everything went better for our company when we were having high momentum and high visibility on social media. So doing well on social media and kind of getting exposure was directly correlated with getting more users and more high quality users that stuck around. And truly like this would not have happened without YC. They just really amplified what we were doing, amplified our platform. And now frankly, like a lot of people in San Francisco actually know about us. Um, whenever I go to WeWorks, there's usually someone there that recognizes me um, and knows what we're doing because of our social media presence and that we went viral so many times, which is just so cool and also helpful for infinity. All right, so I feel like I could go on with so many more reasons why YC was 100% worth it. Truly um, one of the top three decisions of my entire life. Let me know if you guys have any questions and until next time.